Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. I'm walking into 1323 Tui, number one north. This is a super nicely rehabbed, sort of a one plus bedroom. Now the person who lives here is packing. So we're just sort of panning the living room. And the windows I think are facing east actually into the courtyard. There you get just a glimpse of the uh, stainless steel dishwasher, glimpse of the bedroom, and then there's a big bathroom back there too. But the reason I'm doing all that is before we get into the apartment, uh, the rest of the apartment, this apartment has uh, a washer and dryer built in. There's a little storage to the right of it. But that's a really nice to have. You also have your electric panel back there. So that's very special and part of the rehab. And then I'm going to walk back a little ways and show you the living room again. This is probably 13 feet by 11 feet, something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but you can see that there's an awful lot in here. Hardwood floors, which are really nice. The air conditioner is hers. The uh, windows are newers. We're on a raised first floor and the courtyard is really nicely landscaped. The engineer in this building does a great job with the uh, flowers. Radiator heat. The walls are flawless. And the light is coming out in the far center of the picture is coming from the bathroom, which I'll show you in a minute. So as we walk back towards the laundry area, if we take a right, we come into the kitchen. The kitchen is really nicely rehabbed, but there's also a nice like office or a den that if I step into, you get a little better picture of the kitchen. Laminated wood floors, stainless steel dishwasher, Lots of cabinet space, beautiful tile backsplash throughout. There is a fan to exhaust, full-size stove, microwave built in. The back door would go down to laundry and storage. Countertops are granite. I've mentioned the uh, dishwasher a couple of times and you can see it's a full size. Very clean, a little bit newer, ready to go. The backsplash is, like I say, a nice clean white tile, lots of outlets, uh, stainless steel sink, good water pressure throughout this building. There is a built-in hose attachment and a spray button. So a nice faucet. Underneath is clean and dry, able to be used as storage. Up above you have lots of cabinets. These are sort of like they, they have a, a little darker finish than maple, but sort of what I think of as maple cabinets. Uh, three shelves, probably about two feet high in total. Each shelf is about 11 or 12 inches deep. And you have a couple of these big ones. See, these are very much the same. Those two drawers would be the same. And then farther on the right of the uh, dishwasher, you have a drawer which is used for silverware often. And underneath is really quite a bit deeper, so you can put bigger appliances or pots and pans underneath. She again is in the process of moving, so that was empty. So we come down, we look at the granite countertop. But you do have some good counter space here, so that's nice. Full size stove, four burner stove. Needs to be cleaned a little bit, but you see that it's fairly new. Very nice, a little bit of stainless steel trim. Up above there is a, whoops, a daisy, a microwave. Super clean, inside and out. More cabinets all around the microwave. Open this up as well. See so if you got like a more average two foot high, three shelf 
cabinet there. Black glass window. The uh, backsplash goes all the way to the end. More granite surface area. And if we turn around, we see a nice stainless steel fridge. The fridge is probably about five feet, eight inches high. Nice big freezer, shelves to the left. Nice, oh, you've got a crisper drawers on the bottom, a cold cut drawer in the middle. Nice and clean, butter dish, couple of shelves on the left again. So it's really a super nice kitchen. Let's see if I can show it to you. Again, very hard to do from this angle, I think. More cabinets. And the fridge, which I showed you. This room is just a great bonus room. Ceiling fan. This probably is fairly square, so probably 9 by 8, something like that. Maybe a little bigger, 10 by 8. Hardwood floors, nice window. You can really see the flowers out here. Very pretty. And from the window, we turn around. We see the nice French doors. Really a great space. Come out, we see the fridge. In the kitchen one more time. Nice dishwasher, nice microwave. We go through the living room. Oh, sorry about that. Through the living room. We have the in-unit laundry. The bedroom is to our right, which I will finish with. But let's look at this bathroom. This bathroom is huge. Tank, toilet, big uh, cabinet area under the sink. Two lights. There is a fan cut in to help keep it clean and dry. Uh, ceramic tile flooring. She's got something high, high up here, but you've got glass block windows, a new tub. Uh, because she has something hung up, there is some water pressure for hot, which is good. And then you see it just coming out pure hot. So very good water pressure, drains beautifully. Again, I've always liked the glass block windows, beautiful new tile all around the tub. In fact, all throughout the bath is the new tile. This is a medicine cabinet that has multiple components. Well, that was a mistake. Um, okay, I just ambushed her stuff. But there's another shot at the medicine cabinet. Again, the water pressure is really good. It's just a hot water. Drains nicely underneath. She's got the hair straightened right here. Underneath. Lots of space. Big storage area underneath. And then drawers to the right, which are fairly deep drawers. So that's really helpful. Again, another outlet. Tank toilet. Stand back a little ways. It's really a very nice bath. Very complete. And the fan, like I said, you see no mildew or anything. That will really help keep it clean. So we come out of the bath to give you perspective. The living room is there. And across from the bath is the bedroom. Queen size bed. Still plenty of room for furniture. Hardwood floors. More room on this side for furniture and nightstands. Ceiling fan. The window is facing. Here we're facing the back of the building. So that's a little harder for me to show you. Let's see if I can do this real quick. Just get this up a little bit. So there's the back of the building. Uh, you still would get light if you wanted it. I don't think she wants it. From the, the window corner, we look around. This is a big bedroom. Probably 9 by 12 or something like that. Um, go towards the closet. And we have two shelves. I'll turn on the light for you. Probably six feet across, hanging bar, 
two shelves, easily two feet deep, so you can store a lot of stuff in here. Oops, a daisy. I'm trying to give you something to look at while I'm turning off the light. Oh my goodness. I'm not so good with the camera when I'm doing two things at once. Okay, one last look at the bedroom. Super nice bedroom. Ceiling fan. Come out of the bedroom. Nice big closet. Nice huge bath. This is way bigger than your average bath. Very complete, very clean, very modern. Living room is a great size. You have the extra room and a big kitchen. Plus you have, just one last time, the in-unit laundry. You just can't beat that. So it's a beautiful apartment. Brings us back to the front door. Thank you for watching.